Hey friends, this is Jessica here and today I wanted to do a color swatch of the Daniel Smith watercolor Primatech set and also add it in with my Daniel Smith palette that I currently have. Um, so I'm going to go and start, I'll add one at a time and show you what they look like. So let's get started. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in a box of six different colors. Um, they're supposed to be unique pigments and um, let's try them out. So these are the five ML tubes. Six of them comes in there. I'll put a link in the description below of where I purchased them and stuff. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll try, we'll do one at a time and I'll add it in the palette. <clears throat> and then we'll go from there and that way you'll see what they look like. I've never opened them up. It's like a really nice color. I usually put mine in and just kind of let it set and harden because that's the way I like to use my watercolors. But in the future, I may try and do something a little different. Um, after I get these in, see that one was pretty full. After I get these in, I will go, we'll do color swatches and see what they actually look like on paper. Look, that one looked really, really sticky. So I'm just lining them up based on how I have put them in my palette. <clears throat> very, very, that one was very full. Whoa, that one was really full. And that one was too. It's already coming out of the tube. Okay, I'm going to set these to the side and we'll go over and do color swatches and see what they look like. Okay, this first color is Rhodonite Genuine and we will try it out and see what it looks like on paper. I have barely just dipped, just sprayed just a small amount of water in these. Um, not much at all, Just I'm just tapping in. They haven't hardened yet. So let's see what it looks like on paper. It's a little bit lighter than what I thought it would be. Try to push back some of it and see what happens. Well, I'm getting some of the ink in there. I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little closer what the color actually looks like. It's a little bit lighter than what I was thinking that it was going to be. So I'm just going to dab in some more and see if it changes. Would definitely be a pretty color to use for flowers. Um, this next color is Hematite Genuine and we will see what it looks like. It's really dark so far. I'm going to kind of dip in there a little bit. 
So it's a pretty dark color. It's definitely granulating color. Gonna dab in some right up here at the top and see how dark I can get it to go. It's a really nice granulating color. Let me lift up some because it's a bit much. So yeah, it's not too, it's pretty, it seems like as it's kind of drying a little bit, it's settling different. It's like there is this color of tan that is settling. Let's see, let's look at it a little closer. It may be that the, um, yeah, that's really nice. I mean, that's a, a odd color. It's not just black, but it has some tan in it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me try to get it to refocus. It's a really nice, beautiful color. It's like tan and black. That's, that's a weird mixture of a color. This next color is Jadite Genuine, and we will see how it fares out for color. It's light fast. Let's see what it looks like. It's really, really like dark. I mean, it almost make you think black. So, oh wow, that one is, that one's something. Very, very pigmented color. So now I clean my brush and I just, I'm adding some water to the bottom. It's a really nice color. Look how dark that is. Just soaking up some of the water. It's really, really pretty though. I was just kind of scattering a little bit to see. These colors are probably colors that you would definitely want to use on a cold press or even a rough paper. Um, just because they are granulating colors and that is absolutely a beautiful green that's in this set. So far my favorite in this set. So let's, let's see, let's move on to the next color. This next color is Amethyst Genuine and it, <clears throat> let's see what it looks like. All right, it's also very dark in the palette. Um, you would probably think that it is a black, it's not, I mean, it's pretty dark. And mind you, this hasn't dried yet. It's still very wet for me just putting it in there. So, let's see. It's really, really pretty. It's already granulating a lot. So, I'm just going to kind of tap into the paint itself without getting into too much water. Let's see how, if I can deepen this top area. So that was just, it's pretty pigmented color. It's just, all I've done was just barely tap into it. It's very, very, it's granulating very nicely. Very, very pretty color. Let's tilt it to the side here and see. 
So it'll be interesting to see what they look like after they dry, especially, well, even the green and the, and the uh, purple, the amethyst, um, because of course it changes once the colors are dry. So we'll just go and move on and see what the next color is that we're gonna swatch out. Here's the color that I'm going to color swatch out next. It is, um, looks like it's a kind of a, it's got red and maybe even some brown. It's a very unique color, earthy color is what it looks like. So let's see what it looks like on paper. Yeah, very, wow, it's granulating too, quite a bit. So I'm just going to tap in and try not to pick up too much water and see how dark I can get it. This one in particular, this color swatch is one that I keep inside my palette. Um, so I know my, what colors I have where because they can definitely be deceiving. This next color is Mayan Blue Genuine, and let's see what it looks like. Let me clean my brush off, and here it is in the palette itself. So, I'm just moving out some. Let's see what it looks like on paper. It's a very pretty blue. Whoops, I think I this I picked up quite a bit of pigment on that. So it's going to be pretty deep. That's a really pretty color. So I'm just going to clean my brush and add some water to the bottom here and let it drain down. Let's see what it looks like. Really nice color. Very, very pretty. Very nice colors. So, here they are. Um, I'm just kind of tilting them to the side to see. Definitely the amethyst has some, it has a sheen to it. Um, you probably can't see it because some of them are still wet, but maybe you can see there is still a sheen. There's a little sheen to the amethyst, um, which is really nice. I mean, it's almost like a glittery kind of sheen, and I don't notice it in any of the other colors. Just that one so far. Let me see if I can look at this one a little better. But, um, it looks like that one, certainly, I mean... So far, the purple one has a, uh, which is the amethyst, has a little sheen to it. So, overall, those are some really beautiful colors. This one is a little bit lighter than I expected, and it's why it's always really good to do a color swatch because, I mean, just putting, you know, th this right here is the color right there on the end is what the color represents on the box, the same one. But you can see that it's darker on the box than per se what it is on paper. So that's why I like to go and do a color swatch of the different colors. And I mean, even that one, you might be able to get that one darker, but probably not as dark. The green is definitely matched up. Um, and even this, the brown, look at the brown. It looks very different. Um, it's got some tan, it looks like underneath with some black that's mixed in it. So overall, it's a really nice color. Overall, they're a super nice set of watercolors. And just in case you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below of this set that I have. Um, just in case you want to pick them up for yourself and add them to your Daniel Smith collection. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And if you haven't already, and you would like to uh, put in or in the comments below, you can add um, a prayer, a hope, a wish, a dream, and put it. And I will put it in my canvases or drawings, depending on what I'm working on. 
and of course it'll be videotaped for you. Um, but just put it down below if you have a prayer or if you have a wish, a hope, or dream that you would like added. I'll select a few and put in each time with every video. You feel free to go in and add that because I want us to be an inspiration to each other. And even when you're doing your own paintings, add it in your own painting. Put it in your own canvas. Um, but anyway, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.